Hey, what's up, guys? It's a new video for the Retro Beats 4. Uh, on this video, I will show you the gameplay. I want to show you uh, not even the gameplay, but I want to show you the Retro Beats, how it works, how it, I, I can be, I, I can uh, fast, it can be, you know, to jump from uh, one game to another emulator, close the game, go back to uh, another game. I want to show you that the Retro Beast is perfect. Everything works uh, flawless. Uh, everything is tweaked. I work every day on it. I work every month for the past year. And the Retro Beast is perfect. Uh, you can enjoy all game now from uh, the Retro Beast. That's uh, I work from uh, the past year. This is the most complete. Uh, launcher in the world. It's got 800 wheel, a ton of game. Everything is tweaked. So you have the Ritual Beast now. You can enjoy all those games on the big box. Uh, you have the Fighter Edition. You have the Launch Box. You have the Nessica. It's a launcher by himself. You have the Type Extra that include all the um, Techno Pirate, Ring Edge. Uh, all the type X, uh, one, two, three, uh, name it. Uh, Nemco. It's very. It's a launcher by himself. Uh, also, you have the beast control panel now to uh, change all your uh, preferences. All right. And also, you have the uh, vertical version. So today, I want to play all the game on the Retro Beast because it's it's got uh, it's the most complete hyperspin and launch box box will be will get more wheel every month now they have almost uh, 108 wheel each i press spin and launch box but every month i'm gonna add some wheel from the retro beast to the um uh i press spin and launch box so all i want to show you it's i'm gonna play a few game most the most popular the most popular system Showing you the uh, the beauty of the retro beast. Um, I will try some random game. I always play the same game. Uh, suit for. Uh, yeah. The retro beast works with the uh, second screen. Now I have my second screen plug. I have my uh, LED pixel. Um, I also have my arcade board. Uh, I'm playing with the Xbox now. I will show you as, also the uh, Sidon Light Gun. So this is the main arcade. This is main. So see now they have um, the way I set it. You have the uh, glass, you can see a glass effect on it. You can change it. I have a ton, a ton of, uh, of setup. You can uh, change the glass effect, the curve of the glass. Uh, you can have uh, arcade style. Now I'm on the LCD. I, can, I will show you the, uh, uh, the CRT effect. And I'm gonna play on the launch box to show you you can be play uh, full screen. That's why you have three launchers because you can have three different uh, uh, experience. Okay. Now you can save. I'm gonna quit. You can save, load your uh, progress on any game. I will show you uh, one game I know. Okay, this one, 1944. It's got the bezel, all right? With the glass, with a LCD effect, all right? I will show you that you can change the uh, experience. Okay, there is no CRT, let's quit. Just quit Retro Beast because we're gonna go to the uh, setting, the Beast Control. We go to Main Glass Effect. Uh, you can change the bezel to day or night. 
now. Uh, yeah, the original. The original is the one you just saw. Uh, bezel D. It's another bezel, but uh, with more light on it. And the bezel night, uh, like you can imagine, it's more dark. So when you play at night, the bezel, it's more uh, darker. Okay, so let's try the darker. And I'm gonna change also the uh, the darker. I'm gonna change the glass. Uh, the glass I'm gonna put the CRT. So you have the glass effect, glass effect, uh, cap CRT glass. Okay, this one. Oh, you have a ton of options. I'm sure you're gonna find one you like. Okay, let's quit. Go back to Retro Beast. You can also you remove the uh, the loading video on uh, the launcher if you don't like it. Okay, uh, now you will see the bezel is gonna change. Uh, I think I choose. Ah, oh, okay, that's the arcade. You can choose if you have a cabinet. You, that's the cabinet version. And now see all the writing, the graphic is uh, with CRT now with a glass effect. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but you, you got the idea. Okay, now I'm gonna start the game on uh, launch box or big box, whatever. It's gonna be uh, full screen. Okay, launch box. Launch box take a few seconds to boot. I just want to show you new that you can play the same arcade main game, but with different style. With cabinet style, uh, or full screen, with bezel, no bezel, with glass effect, screen effect. Uh, da -da -da -da, was 19 there. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I have a second screen with the logo um, and the marquee. It's very great. See, now you have the same game with the glass effect, with CRT effect, but without the bezel. Whoop. All right. Some people may like it, some people may don't like it, so you can choose whatever you like. You can add green line on the mains, like the real TV, you know, the line on the, the old TV. So there is no problem. So this is the main, you have uh, almost 4,000 main game, split with categories. So if you like driving, if you have, uh, if you like shmup, you choose shmup. All right. So let's, I save it, and if I press, I can load it when I left. All right. So I will save it. So let's quit. I'm gonna show you a light gun game, a sudden light gun. I'm gonna quit launch box. Because the wheel is not, uh, is not set. Um, yeah, I will add the uh, light gun wheels on the, the launch box and I press spin. Of course. So very simple. You plug your light gun. You follow my wiki just to uh, pair your light gun with the application. With the sedan application. And you just boot your uh, sedan gun number one mm -hmm. on the wheel. Whoop. I just check it because the sedan show me a pop up. Just check if it works. Yeah, it works. Now I'm 
I'm uh, handling. I, I control the uh, the retro beast, all right, with the sudden light gun, with the uh, D-pad on the light gun. You have the enter, you have the back, you have the coin, the start, and you have. If I press this, see, I have the uh, border line. Not all game need it because it's sometimes it's preset on the bezel, but sometimes you need. What I want to say is you always need the white border, but sometimes it's preset, so you don't need to activate it on the gun. So I press with the gun, the enter button on the right side of the gun. Now my gun is set. Uh, I want to play... I really like the Far Cry. I'm going to show you a main game. Also. I'm going to show you now a Techno Pirate. Uh, I pass it. Far Cry. Like uh, the Far Cry, I need to activate the bezel, but you need to activate it after the game boot. I have a blue gun, I have a red gun also. It's set for two guns also. Uh, I have two sedan applications set for Gun 1 and Gun 2. You can play uh, main PS1, Dreamcast. Uh, I'm working to add the PS2, PS3 and so on. So now I'm, I'm going to activate the white border. I guess you, you will see it on the recording. Uh, I guess so. Uh, press start. Oh, I have the light. Uh, yeah, I have backlight on, on the back of my TV, so that's no good. I'm gonna shut down my lightning. Uh, off. Yeah, because you need to have no light uh, on the back of your TV. Because the gun is confused with the uh, border and the light. Yeah, gun game is really good. I want to buy the uh, gun uh, gun for ER to try it. It should work. Make it available for the retro bees. And you can play most game most most uh, game you can play two and four. See, ah, right, see, I close the light. It's very precise now. Let's pick up a grenade. I'm gonna make them. Boo! I like the transformer also. Transformer game. Okay, it's very precise. No one! I did it! So that's the sedan light gun I'm working with now. The M track, I used to have the M track a few years ago, but uh, it's kind of buggy sometimes, so I stopped using it. It works, but after a while, it doesn't work for whatever the reason. The sedan, when you set it, works, should always work. Oh, give me a shield. Boom! Come on! Give me some guys. Okay, so that's the uh, sudden light gun. Works wonderful. Works with two guns. So let's quit it. I'm gonna remove the white border. Uh, close the the gun. I'm just looking if I'm still recording. Yes. Um, okay, no, let's. I'm just gonna show you one uh, main game. Um, with the gun. Alien. Oh, I just 
<laughs> I'm stupid. I just shut it down. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna take it after. Yeah, just. Yeah, I was sure I. Uh, uh, I shut. Sorry, I'm gonna close the game. Because I shot the. Uh, I unplugged my sudden light gun. I'm just looking if the sudden. With my mouse. The sudden. The sudden still. I don't know, wait, I'm gonna quit. Oh, I think it's there. Yeah, the camera is there. See the camera? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. The way uh, I set main is uh, because some people they're gonna buy a gun and they they're gonna have a different. Uh, it's called a com a, no, a com number on the um, on the PC. Uh, so that's why I have a fix for main depends on your gun. It, it's all explained on my manual, but you have to uh, set your com. For the main to work and it should be okay after that you don't have to you just have to do it uh, on you just choose your com number gun and you should be ready to play see i put money i shoot the screen you can play with two guns to do that, you have to start the two uh, sedan application. Simple as that. Before playing, so I'm playing with the uh, blue sedan light gun. Took me a, a year to get it. Everybody who order pre-orders uh, get a year waiting. Now I think it's faster. I think I have a grenade. Simple like that. Yeah! I really like gun games. Different than playing with a controller. It's another uh, universe experience. So that's the main. Works with the uh, Dreamcast, PS1, um, so let's quit. So see, that's an example. This game already have the. Uh, I'm gonna shut down the controller. Uh, yeah, that's an example. The Bezel already have uh, all main games uh, for shooter. Uh, already have the uh, the border. Sorry. Just. Uh... Okay, so I unplug my uh, sudden light gun. I put my Xbox. Uh, I can show you a Wii mode, uh, Wii mode game. I'm gonna play with a real Wii, Wii mode. So let's go to console. We're gonna play a Wii game. There's a lot of stuff I want to show you. Um. Ah, oh, I didn't plug it. Wait, wait. I have to plug my Wii. I start the game. I, I, it should work. Yeah, the the Wii mode just uh, vibrate. Yeah, it works. So it's official. You can plug your Wii mode after <laughs> the game starts. So I'm playing with a, a, a real Wii mode, not a fake. Watch out! If you if you're using my retro bees, 
you buy my PC, I will ship a uh, real remote, but if you buy my uh, my drive, buy a, a real remote. I don't know why, but the Mi Flash, the USB Mi Flash, uh, it's not gonna work. We need a real remote. Anyway, it's better. So that's the Wii. The emulator is Dolphin, works very great. Very, very great. You can play the Wii game with a uh, uh, Xbox controller, but you're gonna miss some buttons. That's why I include the. Uh, I suggest to play with a real remote. Because sometimes you have to shake the controller, you have to move the controller, and stuff like that. And with Xbox, it's not possible. Okay, so that's the Wii. I think you saw enough. I can... Uh, you can see it's running smooth. No problem. No glitch in the sound, no delay, no... Uh, Oh, I'm gonna show you the it's a shake. Yeah. See the shake works. Vibration works. The sound on the remote works. Like a real Wii. So that's why you. It's not. It's almost not possible to play with a, a remote uh, Xbox controller. All right, let's quit it. Why my keyboard? Did I shut down my keyboard? Wait a second. Uh, okay. Yeah, I unplug the. Uh, I unplug my remote. Uh, what else I can show you? We are in the console. We have the Wii U. I can show you a Wii U game. Smash Bro. Everybody likes Smash Bro. Uh, favorite. See, I have Smash Bro on the Switch also. Very great. It's got all the DLC and character. Extraction complete. Uh, thanks for Discord, uh, friend. He upload, uh, give me a, a save game for the Switch to unlock all the character. So uh, when I have great stuff, I always add uh, feature and stuff like that on the Ritual Beast. So if you play the Super Smash Bro on the Switch, you have, uh, I think, 127 DLC plus a save game that unlock all the character. So it's amazing. And for some other game also. I have a save game already to unlock uh, great stuff and DLC. All the Switch game uh, has the uh, update, update and DLC. And save game. Oh, you see the loading cache? Because uh, I clean the cache on the computer every month. What I mean is the first time you're going to start a game on Switch, PS3, uh, Switch, PS3, uh, the Wii U, uh, a few emulators, they use a cache, all right? And every time you start the game for the first time, it will build, build a cache. And sometimes it can be long the first time. It can, it can take one or two minutes, that's very long. But the second time you're gonna boot it, it will take a few seconds. That's why they're building a cache to make your game uh, boot faster on the next uh, boot, all right? That's the way it works. So that's the Wii U Smash Bro. See, very fast, no lag, nothing weird. 
Thomas. I'm not a... I really like it, but I'm not good at this game. But what? Why it doesn't work? <laughs> oh, we needed another controller. No? Oh yes, of course. Okay. Okay, forget it. Anyway, you see it's running very fast, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna quit the game. So this is the Wii U. Xbox was were great. This is the original Xbox. Also, you have the uh, compatibility uh, report. All uh, last gen uh, emulator because th it, that can happen. Like uh, the emulator is gonna run like 95% uh, or 80% of the game perfectly, but some game they're gonna have a glitch. Not my fault, this the emulator. So if you if you find a game that doesn't work well, you click on the compatibility report. You you're gonna it's gonna open a page for the compatibility, and you're gonna see the game uh, if if it's on 100%. Uh, Compatible or uh, not allow? Uh, where's the hello? Nice okay. I really like the simulator, the Ximu, because it's loading the original uh, uh, BIOS. So that's really great, and you can upscale also. If you want to upscale the game. Uh, two times, three times, four times, eight times, up to four k you can do so. I'm gonna show you with the mouse. You click on the uh, home button after you go to machine, setting, no, not this one. Uh, the, the, the view? Oh yeah. See now the render is four times. I'm not, it's not gr good to go up you can try it but from one time to four time or even two times you're gonna see a big difference it's the the scaling all right just compare the originals on your uh, oh sorry uh, input See, you can see all the button I press. Vibration works. Everything works. So this is four time uh, the resolution. Please follow me to the energy oh shield God, test that's station. That's great. I don't know if you just compare. Boot your uh, if you have an original Xbox, or just put it at one time. It's day and night. It's amazing. Uh, the original is grainy, it's fat, and wait, oh my god, that's beautiful. Look at that, this is four times. I suggest to put it two times, four times. And uh, also, all of the emulator I'm running, they have an upscale. To uh, some, they have uh, 2K upscale and 4K. So that's really great. So this is the original Xbox. Run really, really great. Sir, I need. Okay, I'm gonna quit it. Uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox. Uh, I can show you Xbox 360, Xbox Live. I don't know. Same thing. Xbox is the new Three. emulator. Kind of old, but not that. Old. Extraction complete. And it's really great. The game is running. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this. Oh, it's the uh, rocket launcher. It's doing a uh, lo loading stuff. The game is behind. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. I really 
really hate rocket launcher for that. I have to remove the loading uh, for the Xbox. Uh, see, that's something I need to fix. The game is running, it's just the, the loading. I can remove it. I'm gonna re remove it for sure. I'm gonna stop rocket launcher. It's right there. Okay. Now I guess I can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna boot uh, Xbox 360, but without the. <laughs> uh, that's I, I just took note. That's something I'm gonna fix. The game is running. It's just the uh, loading, the fading loading screen. This one is loading without the uh, the rocket launcher uh, loading screen. So this is uh, the emulator Xenia and it's running almost every uh, uh, Xbox 360. Some are not perfect, some, some game they have some glitch, but every month the dev on the emulator they're working to make it better. So this is what is great about the RetroBeats is you have a free update monthly. So I update for you every uh, emulator and application for you. So you just click one button and you have all the emulator updated in one shot. All new game, all new DLC. Motherfucker. That's right. The money didn't come through. You're out 10 million. Where'd she go? That bitch took my skull. I'm with you, 50. Let's go. We can get through here, round here, homie. I can boost you up. Let's move. Yeah, move it. Let's go. Hurry up, 50. That trick went up there. Come on, she must have come. Okay, I'm gonna quit it. So this is the Xbox 360. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go to uh, all the old uh, system work perfectly. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, no problem. I just want to show you the big, uh, uh, the big system. Extracting file. Everyone, they just everybody, they just want to see like the Dreamcast, Saturn, PS3, Switch, uh, stuff like that. Extraction complete. All the old uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, uh, Sega. They know it works perfectly. So this is the uh, Sega Saturn. All systems are complete. So this is RetroArch. Uh, there is cheat code. If you press the uh, uh, select and start. Uh, you will, you can, uh, where's the cheat, the cheat. You can add a sheet, sheet code on the, uh, the retro arch. And you can change, you can remove the bezel if you want, you can change the uh, aspect ratio. If you want, but everything Mark is preset. Uh, also, you have a Take unique puzzle for each game. So, uh, if you boot any game, 
uh, on recharge. We don't I want anyone to the, the missile that fit the, uh, the game. Aliens, uh, now, now we have a uh, yes, alien trilogy missile for the game. So let's quit the game. Uh, Sega. PS5 and PS4 are not emulated. If you go on the wheel, some people they find it weird, but I find it very cool. If you click on a game, let's say I click uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, mm -hmm. it's the PC version. All PS4, PS5, and Xbox One is the uh, PC version. I know it's cheating, but it's not emulated yet, so so that's a, a PC game I'm just booting. It's just fun to uh, to have. One day they're gonna emulate the PS4 and PS5, and I'm gonna include the the real version game. But the PC version and the PS5, it's not identical, but almost, almost the uh, the same. So this is uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So it's an example of a PC game. So this game is included in the PC game also. All right. And of course you can change if you want to uh, upscale your game. You can change the graphic in game. We are ready, my king. So this Tell is a DC. You can quit with uh, L2 and select very, very fast. You don't have to use the in-game quit. How can it so PS4, PS5 is PC game version, the mini uh, PS3. I really like uh, Afterburner. I don't know if I boot it this month, but it should be faster than the last time. You will have PS3, you will have a, a black screen. It's loading on the background. It's caching the game. And uh, you will see it will appear very soon. Yeah, right now. It's gonna build the game. It's a really, really complex emulator. RPC uh, S3 is very, really complex. Why well, it's doing a great job. Don't worry, the game's gonna boot. That's normal. He's got his own way to work. He look freeze or something, but don't touch anything, it's gonna boot. It's because you didn't see. It, you, usually, After it's supposed to show you, uh, showing you um, uh, a progress bar. Is loading the game, is caching the game, and you see the progress. But for this example, it didn't show the uh, progress bar, so that's why it was looking freeze, froze. Select aircraft. Super but usually, you should see the progress bar. So that's the P PS3 game. Going great. It's amazing. It's an arcade game.
Imagine it was on the PS3. It looks great, isn't it? Whoa! Now uh, the RPC XD emulators, uh, they have the uh, FSR, so it's got an upscale uh, graphic integrated. That's why it looks so great. It's amazing. It looks like a 2D game. Okay, let's quit the uh, the game. See how fast it is. You quit. You just come back to the wheel. Uh, PS2. Crisis, Taken. Taken is one of the popular one. Loading. Extraction complete. Yeah, this game has a game as an intro. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I know they upgrade the uh, PS3 emulator recently. Uh, oh no, that's been. Uh, Get ready for uh, the next. Yes, yeah, they have a huge update. So next month, uh, we'll include uh, ah! a new update. Final with, uh, round. Fight. Yeah. And all emulators are ready to play with the uh, one, two, three, four computer. So all the computer. So computer and you're ready. That's the uh, PS2. I'm gonna quit it. PS2, PS1 I have the original version like uh, you used to see and I have the new dock station that played to uh, upscale at uh, 4K. I'm gonna show you one game that's great. Uh, oh whatever, I can boot anything. Why? They all work fine. I just try to find a good game. A oh, wipeout. There's a lot of great games on PS1. Yeah, that's the new, uh, this one also cache the game for the first time. It will take a few seconds and the second time you're gonna boot it, it will be faster. Like really faster. You also have the BO, the BIOS uh, at start. Really great. So you will see the 4K upscale now of this game. It doesn't upscale the video, the in-game video, but the uh, in-game uh, gameplay. See all the letters are round, pixel, not so pixelized, but it's more punchy. I always try to give you the best of the best, best simulator, best experience. I always forget what's the the gas. Oh my god! Uh, vibration works also on the Xbox. Oh, I was using the boots. That's why. I always forget what's the gas. No. Okay, this one. 
damn, I'm not good at this game. No, I'm not good. I used to be good, but not now. So, see the graphic is really, really great. That's PS1 running on Dock Station 4K upscale. All right, let's quit because I'm not good. I don't use the the drift. You have, I remember, you have to use the uh, the drift. So I look stupid now. Uh, all those systems were great. The old uh, Nintendo, Nintendo 64. I can show you. Nintendo. It's running full screen. This one is running full screen on a uh, retro beast, no bezel. I can add a bezel, but for some system, I uh, just add it. Let's quit it. Uh, Nintendo 64. All those system works fine, no problem. Uh, I can show you Dreamcast, uh, GameCube. Which game I never try? Let's try a new game. Oh, Vex, I. I I have no video. Right. Guy Rowdy, no. Still rush. Was on GameCube. Oh, Tony, uh, Tony Ark. Let's try a Tony Ark. The tree, I guess. So that's the GameCube running on Dolphin also. Emulator. Yeah. You try what? Access to not touch what? Carrier. Uh, GameCube also is upscale. Is that, what's that? I don't remember that. That's the map. Uh. Yeah, it should looks better than the original. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's upscale. Uh, 2K at least. Oh man, they look so great. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks great. I don't know if you can see the same thing as me, but it's recording, but I can guarantee this game uh, looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not good. Uh, Dreamcast, yes. Let's boot a Dreamcast. Uh, Red Dream. It's a great emulator. Is there a tennis game? I really like tennis game. Uh, oh, I know this one is a popular one. I know. People love this game. The Power uh, Stone. To be fair, I never played this game. I, I play f for testing because some people ask me to do some stuff, but I never really played this game. I never get a Dreamcast. Welcome to Power Stone yeah. Wars! This simulator also upscaled the game, so you have a better graphic.
I want you to see the, the performance. Uh, the rest is regular stuff. All the Atari work great. Uh, and all. Oh, I can show you a Switch game. Uh, you have the Switch eShop. There's a ton. It's 4,000 game with DLC and uh, update. So. Uh, uh, Odyssey 3D World. So C is gonna catch the game. Yuzu, it's always a pain in the butt. The first time you boot Yuzu, uh, it's gonna scan because I, I did add a ton of DLC and update. And why Yuzu now is on a white page? It's because it's scanning all the. DLC and update for each game. And if I boot the, the if I I'm gonna boot the game after that, it's not gonna do this. It's gonna boot uh, in five seconds. It's always do that because f before the recording, uh, I did use uh, boot Yuzu before the recording, but I reboot my PC for some reason. And that's it. So the first time after a reboot is doing a scan, but after that it's okay. Sorry about that. But Yuzu is a great emulator now, really great. It always be a great emulator. Uh, I think I upscale two times the the game uh, graphic. So uh, yeah, really really great. I'm gonna go get some water. Sorry, I leave you on a white uh, screen. Uh, I come back in one minute. Yeah, I know it's. See, ah, see, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna quit the game after. I'm gonna boot the Yuzu. Is gonna boot in two seconds. It's always like that. The second choice is I remove all the DLC and uh, the update. But everybody is gonna lose the the feature, so it's not so bad. Okay, now if you want to put to full screen, press L2 and start. Uh, yeah, this one. L2 on the controller, and now you don't see the stupid border. Uh, the new one is this one. The rumble works on the controller. It works with four controller. Uh, I want to make. Um, uh, I know the emulator works with the original. Uh, what's the name? At the nunchuck, the uh, the controller of the the switch. You can pair the original controller on the Ritu Beast, and it should work. But it's not in, uh, available uh, yet. I have to test it. Oh no! When a game works on the the Ritu emulator, it works great. Seriously. Very beautiful. Look at that. I can turn the camera. No lag. No. Uh, no artifact. No la latency. Oh, I can jump on you. Come on, boy. It's 
So if you have uh, kids, Switch is the best for them. There's a bunch of uh, kids thing. Really, really great. Very good. Alright, I'm gonna quit because uh, I just want to show you the. So, see now, I quit the emulator. I'm just gonna show you. Let's say you go back, you play some other game, you come back. Let's boot it. It's gonna boot. Uh, the white screen should disappear. Yeah, see it takes like uh, not even 10 seconds and I'm on the game. So after a PC reboot it's gonna scan and after it's ready uh, I can quit the emulator very fast, very easy. Every, everything is optimized. Uh, PSP, maybe some people they want to see God of War, I know that's the most Demanding game. Is it the Chain of Olympus? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's the one. That's the most demanding game on the PSP. I'm not even running the Retro Beast now on a powerful PC. I'm selling uh, the PC I'm selling is a um, uh, CPU, it's a 5800 X and uh, RTX 3070 Ti but now I'm running on a 3060 Ti with a 3800X uh, it's a good, it's a great PC but it's not the, the, the PC I, I'm selling it's more powerful than that and the one with the uh, RX 6400 uh, it's a great uh, GPU I don't like the oh there is no save because when you start a new game the prelog is very long. Like you see, you can see on the screen it's very beautiful. I don't have a save game. I used to have for the showcase, but uh, anyway, it's running flawless, no problem at all. Uh, DS, I guess, 3DS, some people want to see. Okay, let's show a 3DS. Because the DS is very uh, special. Extraction complete. I think if you press it, the 3DS has a three, uh, two, three screen, two screen. And if I remember in my manual, I say press F10. Uh, yes, I think F11. Or on the joystick, I don't know. Oh, yeah. If you press your joystick, you can switch. I just don't remember. I think it's. Uh, I just want to show you. You can switch to the the top screen, the full screen. F1, F11. Ah, oh, sorry, my keyboard is. Uh, yeah, this one. No, uh, F10. Yeah, F10. If you press F10. You can change the uh, the two screen like you want. You know, if you want to see the full screen, but a little bit of the second screen, uh, like this, like this, or the full screen. So that's that's cool. show you on the end all Game Boy I have Game Boy for two players that's very cool you have two screen uh, uh, because yeah see because Game Boy they used to have uh, a communication you can play, uh, two player so you have a two player Game Boy version color very cool the rest uh, is okay, everything is fine. 
and though computer what can I show you the computer? I'm not a computer emulator guy but I know all of them works uh, some of them I uh, used to have some problem and I fix it uh, that's the great uh, way I it works on discord people they send me hey this simulator something wrong happened uh, I fix it uh, I have MS DOS for one player two player mouse gaming uh, I don't know what to play I don't like any game on the computer sorry sorry for the computer fan but uh, Commodore I don't know oh I have a wheel uh, for the best of the best uh, computer classic this one it's got the best of the best for some emulators ZX Amstrad uh, I don't know let's try this one okay, shit. okay let's try another one That's the uh, St. Clair. But there is a big collection of a uh, of, uh, classic uh, PC game. Commodore, you have a ton. 67. Uh, let's try the Amiga. This one, some of them have uh, bezel. Some of them you can play with keyboard only. Some of them you can play with keyboard and controller. Like this one, you can play with controller if I remember. Yes, see? You can play with a keyboard or a Xbox controller. Not all of them, but because computer is still a computer and computer game, you play with keyboard. I'm playing with the uh, Xbox. Yeah, kill them all. Okay, let's quit the game. So that's the computer area. Sorry if I'm not playing more game, but uh, all computer should work. Uh, import, import. What? Uh, still Dreamcast, Switch, same. See Super Nintendo. I have the uh, Japanese version, but translate. So if you play a Japanese only version, you should have uh, them in English. That's freaking cool. But it's cool because some game they just released in Japan. But see, it's in English. So that's the Japanese original version, but translate in English. So that's translate, Sega Saturn, Tech Toy, PSP, a PS2 version. So I already uh, show some um, uh, homebrew. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you one homebrew. So there is a main version, modified version. Uh, Sometimes it's a surprise. You don't know what's gonna happen. But special characters, special background, special feature, feature special uh, controller. Um, Sometime I will include uh, like Super Mario, you will see the uh, image sometime. The picture of the modification, there's a ton of Mario modification. Oh my god. It's amazing. This one is a widescreen, but it's not a stretch one. This is a, a guy, he did a super uh, HD version of Super Mario World, but a real widescreen. Not a stretch, that's the difference. Because you can stretch a, a game for screen. 
This one, it's pixel perfect uh, uh, white screen. I don't know why he did it, but uh, that's not a stretch. I repeat it because some people, you can do a stretch game on uh, any emulator. Yeah, this one is pixel perfect. Full screen, my friend. And I'm playing on a... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm playing on a 65 inches right, right now. OLED TV, so... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of surprise on the uh, homebrew version. Some prototype. Uh, some HD version. Or made HD version of uh, some game. Popular game. Uh, you have the 3D version. The 3D version is the. Um, all right, that's that's a. This emulator is really weird. It take the game. I'm gonna show you. It take the original game, and it turn all the background uh, in 3D, and you can move it. Loading. Extraction complete. That's really fun. Okay, look at that. I don't know. I will try to show it. Did it work? Oh yeah, I can see some 3D effect. I oh, see. Ah, I can turn. I can't wait. I don't. Okay, see, I'm gonna show you. You can, <laughs> you can move. You can almost go to the background. So it's doing a 3D uh, level. All right. This emulator is crazy, man. I'm telling you. So you can play, you can uh, in kind of 3D version of the game. That's you can zoom in, zoom out. You can move up and down. It's amazing. All right. So that's all the act. It's a lot of surprise, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, good stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you a comic book. Let's say X Men. Uh, so I have the comic book on a black background. You finished, you quit. There, I don't remember the amount, but there's a ton of comic book, I swear. Old comic book, new comic book, uh, game manual, that's great. Let's say... Uh, I have a special one on Super Nintendo. So it's like booting a game, but you're gonna boot a uh, manual. Let's say this one. Doesn't work, why? Uh, I think I have to fix something. Oh yeah, okay. I did something wrong with the manual. I think I moved the uh, when I was building the um, the launch box. Okay, I have to fix it. Sorry, that something happened live. Video game manuals. There was just something so. No worry, it's gonna be fixed. Uh, next month, just a configuration. Well, sorry, give me two seconds. Manual. Loading. There'll be stuff you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. The first couple of pages were always controlled. Those would always be in there since the developers think. All right, so yeah, it's gonna work. PC game. I'm go I'm not gonna show you uh, VR because. I cannot record. Oh yeah, I can record VR. Oh yeah, the 3D. I, sh I just show you the 3D uh, NES. You can play on a VR. See, it's unbelievable. So I have a bunch of great game, PC game, old game, new game, arcade style, zombie uh, racing. I have all the most popular game you can imagine. Uh, I already boot uh, Assassin's Creed. Before. 
but uh, there is a ton a ton a ton of game yeah and I always uh, upgrade the uh, the game every month I, I will add more all the Fort Cry and all those games you can find them on the collection so if there is Final Fantasy should be on the Final uh, Fantasy collection there's a ton of game uh, for the five let's say one of the most beautiful game so far Twenty twenty one. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful games so far. One of the best games. Also, it's fun. Really fun to play. I hate those games when they have uh, like 10 videos when you start it and you can ask them. I think maybe sometimes they load on the background. Optimizing your PC, please wait. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna quit because it's gonna take too long. Yeah, I always make sure when I, I'm selling my retro bees that you have a fresh game, no save, no, um, you know what I mean. So you start your the game start for like the for the first time. So a ton of PC game, all works great. Uh, pinball, pinball FX uh, three. It's the most popular. I really like the ah uh, oh, the Doom. My best one is Doom. Well, I'm gonna play Leon. He'll play nice. Happens. Oh, I got it! The nudge arranged. was perfect. <laughs> Already two balls! Sleep well. Yeah, sleep well. Yeah, thank What's you. What's happening just out there, ball. Ripley? Ripley, slow down. No, I'm not gonna slow down. Ah! Outstanding performance. Yeah, we I know. are Thank on you. our own. Transits arranged. What's cool about this emulator? Oh, I quit it. No? What is? Yeah, I quit. Because you can go back on the main menu and you can choose another uh, uh, table instead of Look going back to the tools. Uh, okay, pinball effects. There's a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of pinball. Collection. Oh Look at that. Let's go in reverse. Zelda. Uh, Wipeout. Yeah, the ton. So all systems merge together uh, in one wheel. So uh, let's say in Wipeout you will have a, a PS1, PS2. Uh, all merged together. There's a ton, 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 ton of collection. Round one. With the bezel, the marquee, the video. A ton of collection, my friend. And uh, I have more to come. This is the racing car, very great. A great video. 
Someone texted me today, yes, uh, for a good racing wheel. That's the one I was, I was talking about. Yeah, PC, Arcade, uh, Sega Model 2, Sega Model... Oh, I didn't play... Uh... Okay, this is all the uh, collection. I didn't play in the board. Board, AAA, Action Max. Let's say uh, you can play uh, Action Max. Whoop. Okay, Action Max. I didn't. Uh, I changed the emulator, no problem. I took me Swave. working I'm just looking something because ah oh, this was running on the background that's no good because I just set all the atomy swave and everything on the launch box and everything was working um I'm just looking if the launchbox version works because I changed something. Uh, Sega Naomi, let's say. I know it was working. Okay, Guilty Gear. Okay, yeah, that's it. I set all the uh, because you see uh, Atomy Swave and Naomi on the Retro Beast did have um, an error, but I know I, I set them on the recently on the launch box and it was working. So I think the fact that the way I set it on the launch box. Um, Made the retro base version uh, with error, so I'm gonna fix that. So that's why I'm doing like a video on YouTube. I'm testing everything, so don't worry, it's gonna work. Okay, let's boot. Um, let's boot uh, Atomy Swave. Sega Dreamcast Atomy Swave. I did get an uh, error. Okay, I think it's the wrong wrong run path on the ritual beast. Yeah, it's working. Phew. There is a. <laughs> I press a shotgun. I don't. What's the jump? Come on, sucker. So that's the Atomy Swave running great. And I have to fix it on the Retro Beast, no problem. Um, okay, let's continue on the launch box. Which system, uh, platform, platform categories? Uh, I was on the 
arcade board. Uh, Techno Pirate, I did show you one. I can show you another one. Uh, two, 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 two. Star Wars, after, I don't know which one. They're all cool. Uh, oh, yeah, the la one of the last one, the um, Dead or Alive. Where's the Dead or Alive? Uh, this one. Five ultimate? No, it should be the six. Oh, whatever. I think I have the six. On the Retro Beast, I have the six. Yeah, I have, okay. All the new Techno Pirate on the Retro Beast. I have the Dead or Alive six on Retro Beast. That's Techno Pirate. Best arcade emulator. Original. They dump the uh, original arcade and they make it work. Kono tatakai ni wa zettai ni katsu. Aite ni narimasu zo. Get ready, fight! <laughs> yeah, that's a cool game. Uh, oh yeah, wild action was not. I did have a problem, so I'm gonna boot it there. See. Oh yeah, it works. Action yeah, that's max. It. Okay. A steady aim so action is max. Uh, action max. Uh, before. Yeah, before. See, so everything's gonna work. Get ready. Uh, this action. game also is available on the gun game. I just quit it. Uh, let's just go back Goodbye. to Ritual Bees because the most game wheel are there. I will close the video soon. Kind of tired. But I really want I really like the ritual beat and I want to show you that you can play game after game after game, no problem. Everything's gonna run. Okay, pinball I show you. Collection. Uh, I can show you a little bit more. See all the collection. I should build a, a build just with collection. I think that's the best. If you want to play a fighting game, you go and fight. You want to do a... Okay, I have light gun, but for controller, see? This is all the light gun game, but with controller. And I have the light gun for light gun. I have the steering wheel somewhere. I have the sedan. Oh yeah, okay, go back to... Go back to arcade board. I didn't finish. So this is gonna work, all working, all great. Model one, I can show you a model three. Because I wanna show you guys, see? I have Techno Pirate for controller. Techno Pirate for steering wheel. Uh, the Logitech, that's the picture, you can use it, but any steering wheel should work. And I have this, the Techno Pirate for light gun only. The new Sinch 2, Tree Force, and all the board you can imagine Capcom, Atari, Nemco, name it. There is 104 wheels. 
but at start it's the most popular Na uh, Naomi 2, Naomi 1 uh, Daytona, which one is the this one? Power? There's a few Daytona. Model, I have model one, model two, and model three. Please select a race course. Yeah, this one, this one should be play with a uh, steering wheel. Beginner. Please select normal level car. Please choose manual automatic. They should really Gentlemen, start your engines! Oh my god! That's why I don't pay those steering wheels. But joystick sometimes the uh, dead zone is kind of uh I love I love the Techno Pirate version. Okay, Naomi, Naomi Do. Uh, so this is all the so total there is eight oh more than eight hundred wheels. Oh, I didn't show you the um, the Teto launcher. The special launcher. You have uh, Sega Ring Edge, Nessica. Let's say uh, King of Fighter 4. Yeah, yeah, Nesca 1. Nesca 1, Nesca 2, Teto 1, 2, 3, 4, Ring Edge, uh, Lingberg, Ring Wide, uh, XS3, Namco X, XS3. Yeah, it's amazing. Um uh, Yeah, a ton of game. Ring Edge 2 Transformer. Really like it. Anyway, it's gonna be it for me. So this system is incredible. It's incredible. And let's finish with the uh, fighter. So I repeat, you can play with uh, Xbox controller, no problem, everywhere. Sedan light gun, a Wii mode for the Wii, and uh, any uh, arcade board, X arcade, um, uh, Ultimark, uh, what else? Xenmo. Uh, my God, and all the uh, older controller, new controller, PS5. Xbox One, PS4, PS3, you can play uh, them, no problem. So thanks for watching guys, I just want to show you, uh, I know I will have some comment. Oh see, I'm gonna show you uh, the bezel, I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna go back to the regular, uh, I'm gonna show you the night, uh, the night. 
Oh, I just passed it. I'm gonna show you the night uh, bezel because I just, I set it as an arcade cabinet uh, and I don't like it. Uh, let's put it back to uh, LCD. Okay, this one. Els I like the LCD but with glass. And I'm gonna add uh, uh, the original. The original. The night are just uh, darker. Okay, let's go back to fighter. And a lot of what I'm showing you today, it's also good for the. This is the 80 terabyte. But uh, some game uh, uh, I did show you is good for the 16 terabyte and the uh, 2 terabyte uh, cabinet version. Alright, let's boot uh, Street Fighter. You will see the same game. Same game, you will see the bezel will come back. So the, you can change bezel, you can change the uh, uh, the screen effect. That's really, really great. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like my video. And uh, because some people they asked me to uh, to show some gameplay, that's what I did. Uh, I play one of the most uh, demand game, and uh, for what uh, I don't know how many hours, but. Uh, so, all right, guys, if you're interested, uh, text me at chriscolmod.com. Uh, I have PC and HDD. PC already set up plug and play. My HDD or plug and play, you only have to flash your C drive uh, to work because you will have the same desktop as me. So, everything will work perfectly. And after it's plug and play, uh, I have 80 terabyte. I have the 16 vera, uh, uh, 16 terabyte version only it's a uh, best of the best from all those emulators are showing you and a two terabyte for cabinet uh, you have no console no endo it's just pure arcade uh, for cabinet all right uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next video guys thanks for watching and uh, share and like my video thank you bye bye Love the Retro Beast the best.